Catholic woman of the year. Why are you whispering? I'm still in church. It's a sin to boast. This month's film made its debut at New York's Tribeca Film Festival and it closed out last year's Outfest Film Festival. Due to its subject on Catholicism, Alice Heimsoth here, because of her background, <laughs> joins me with her feedback on the perfect family from Varian's films. Kathleen Turner is executive producer and star of director Anne Renton's debut film, The Perfect Family, with co-star Richard Chamberlain in a role he's well known for, a monsignor in the Catholic Church. It's so important the home visit goes well to ensure you're our choice. Turner in the lead role of Eileen Cleary is in the running for the Catholic Woman of the Year Award. But one final test remains. The church board wants to meet her family whose dysfunction is unbeknownst to them. Angela and I are getting married. With her gay daughter Shannon about to marry her life partner, her unhappily married son Frank Jr. having an affair with a local manicurist, and her own marriage to a recovered <laughs> alcoholic pulling at the seams, will Eileen get that coveted plaque? Or will it go to her co-nominee and frenemy, Agnes Dunn? This film is La Cage au Faux mixed with Guess Who's Coming to Dinner as the fiancé of Shannon makes plans to drop by after the family dinner with the dessert and news of their impending marriage. Speaking of mothers... <clears throat> I know, I... I keep thinking that there'll be a moment that feels right. Yeah. I know. I have to tell her. <laughs> I mean, it's bordering on ridiculous at this point. How about you come with me to dinner tonight? Tonight? Yes. Hmm. What? I'm just trying to picture it. Me at the Cleary family dinner for the first time in six years. And minutes before the selection committee is scheduled to interview Eileen at her home, Frank Jr. crashes in after having too much <laughs> blood of Christ. Hey, Mom, I'm home. Oh, Frank! Oh, Jesus, Mary and Joseph. What are you doing drunk in the middle of the afternoon? Oh, who cares what time he drinks? The bishop is going to be here at I three. Know. Well, it's what, they're not here yet. Bishop! Oh, Frank, <laughs> what are we going to do? I am here. Bring him to the dinner. Oh, uh, Bishop. <laughs> All right, uh, put a sock in his mouth. Okay. Is my, my leszy, preggy sister here? Come on, you feet. Oh, one of the guys at the firehouse told me those Whoa. babies are called turkey baster babies. Oh. Right? <laughs> now, just to point this out, The Perfect Family is not a dark comedy that most viewers would expect after Turner's role in the John Waters cult film, Serial Mom. This heartfelt dysfunctional family comedy boasts a memorable performance from Academy Award nominee Turner as the conflicted and comical matriarch, alongside a bright ensemble cast including Richard Chamberlain and Michael McGrady. Newcomer director Anne Renton keeps the pacing taut and crafts an honest modern family tale, and writers Claire Riley and Paula Goldberg infuse just the right amount of seriousness and levity into their script, reminding us that family is never truly perfect. So, Alice, what is your Vatican two cents worth on this? <laughs> well, of course, I love Richard Chamberlain running around in a Cossack again, being another Catholic priest like in Thornbirds. Mm, but now he's Monsignor, so he's been upgraded. He has. So, Kathleen Turner, it was not body heat, but that was a long time ago. I loved it. I loved her. She was real. She was, um, it was honest. And I could see that she was truly suffering. I mean, she was such a devout Catholic, such a good mother, and she did everything she was supposed to do, but inside she had all this turmoil because she knew what her family was like. And I really feel that she went from turmoil to acceptance. And I laughed, I cried, I'd see it again. Do you recommend this to all Catholics, including Rick Santorum? <laughs> I would offer it to people who were spiritual slash not religious. Uh, it's, it's, it's a must-see, and um, you laugh, and you cry, and um, uh, it makes sense. Well, Alice, that was fun. We've got to go to the movies again. You got it. We will go to the movies next month again for our annual sneak preview of the San Francisco International LGBT Film Festival. And we turn back to Roberta and Jay. You know, speaking about the soap opera days of our lives, that takes me back to when my son...